Well, good morning, brothers and sisters of the hook. Big John and Salty Cack. Big John's up here in the front. He's in the front of the boat. We are going to go offshore today. We're going to take a look at the end of the jetty, but we're pretty sure we're going to go offshore. And look at what's missing. You bet. Took that T-top off. I can do that because I've got a removable T-top. It's only for keeping some sun off of us and some rain off of us anyway. I like it when we can remove it for shrimping. Got to be off for shrimping. You're not banging your net on the uh, T-top. Plus, I can put the 360 cam on, and I'll put that on a little bit later on in the morning, see if we can get any good videos of the 360 cam also. Plus, I've got my underwater cams with us. And if the water's clear enough and calm enough out deep, I might put them down. So it's gonna be a great day. We're just gonna go out about 16, 18 miles, try to find some natural area. See if we can pull up some a mangrove or a vermilion. Maybe find where these passing cobies is gonna be heading south because of the winter. Lane snapper. Lane snapper. Any number of things, and we'll probably catch some red snapper and some hopefully not too many sharks. Oh, speaking of sharks, I reported myself to the Florida Wildlife Commission for catching that scalloped um, hammerhead. Heard back from them, called the lady, and she said she'd get back to me. I sent her a picture and everything, and they haven't gotten back. But I'll let you know what they say, what they do, because um, it's just the right thing when you catch something you shouldn't catch and take it home when you don't know any better. You know, I thought it was a bonnet head. Um, I took it home, hooked it up, didn't like it, not gonna bring another shark home. But um, I turned myself in, reported myself, I should say, uh, to the Florida Wildlife Commission, and they haven't gotten back to me yet, and I'll let you know what they do, whether they find me or just let it go. I did a uh, stop on that uh, one jumping shark, and I'm pretty sure that was a spinner, Salty. Really? I think it was a spinner because it's got that long tail. Oh, wow. Cool. Well, we're catching all kinds of sharks. All kinds. All right, going to open her up so we can get going here. Depth is 78, no, depth is 80, 81 feet, water temperature 78, that's great for cobia, Aha. let's hope so anyway. We're looking for a little bit of bottom structure, right now I don't see much. I'll move around a little bit, we'll find some. We'll get back to you when we get all set up and maybe catch something, yeah! Yes. Okay, I think we're over some structure here. Oh, I heard a ping ping. I heard Brother John is not wasting any time. Pulls up a ruby lips. Ruby lips, okay. Cut bait. So far, Big John's a only one to get a fish to the boat, and there's number three. Ruby lips. Oh, what was this? That was interesting. This is on a whole ruby lips down there. Yeah, come on, keep on eating him. <laughs> Let's see what we got you. We got something serious. 
It's not huge, which is kind of an interesting proposition. Huh. Now that was on a whole fairly large ruby. What do we got? That's kind of light colored. Yeah, a light colored. Oh, you just realized he was caught. Looks like a red snapper to me. It might be something else. Hey, we haven't caught a nice red snapper in so long. Well, that's exactly what it is, a big one. Nice big red snapper. Big red. Big red and a circle hook. We're out, we're out here over natural, a natural reef too, natural area. Let me get this guy off of here. Goodbye. So long. Farewell. Okay. You got something else there, John? Can't get any bites on this. Oh, you'll get some. Oh. This is Salty Kayak's second fish to the boat. It could be nothing but a grunt, but it feels like a good size something. This is my medium action ugly. Just nothing but a grunt. Nothing but a grunt. A grunt. I got me a grunt. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's been a while since we felt that out here. Right. Come on, big John. He's got something. A mega fish. Oh. He's a big guy. I don't see it yet. Water's fairly clear. Let me get this line up so we don't get to dangled up. One step back. Oh, I got stripped off of my shrimp. I see him down there. What was it? Oh, that your half? Looked like Mr. Red Snapper to me so far. Haven't seen the top of him yet. I haven't seen the top of him yet. He's under the boat. Oh, oh. <laughs> Something going on your own. Yep, fish. big red snapper. Big old red. And this fish just got off my on uh, that whole grunt, John. They just right. broke it off. Well, yep. <laughs> be two too. John, you wearing me out with this catching all these fish. You got two grunts. I'd be glad to take one off your hands. I can't keep up with John today. You get bent over. That's a big fish. That is a nice big one. This is the, this is the reworked salty rod here. Is that the one I gave you? Yeah, the tip broke off. I yeah, good for you. Put a new end on it. Man, it's a, it's like magic. It's got my smell on it. That's why. It's got my smell That's on it. It is. It's attracting them. Yeah. They can't the help big themselves. ones. Oh, I see him way down there. I see him way down there. It's kind of like, oh, oh. Let's see what this is. Probably just another grunt because it was on a shrimp. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's pretty red. Looking pretty red. Losing energy. Yeah, there you go. Big red. That's a red. This feels bigger than a, uh, this feels like a trigger. And I think it looked like a trigger. It's a trigger, a little bitty trigger. Little, little bitty trig off fish. Oh, he got all that little. A couple years ago, that would have been big enough. I'm, I'm going to measure him up. Let me measure him up right here. Uh, 13 and a half, of course. 13 and uh-huh. How do they know that? You know, it's got to be 14 inches. They're just smart like that. That's another species. Thank you, Lord. Oh, this is fun. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> this is on an old, old hunk of sardine. Well, looks like another red snapper. He came up off the bottom to get it, too. It's red. Yep. I'm looking for Mr. Almaco. Yellow stripes. 
Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no yellow stripes on this guy. Okay, another one to let go. Cause you're not welcome at my show. Goodbye. Look at him. Oh, it's beautiful water. If I get a chance, I'm gonna drop the old cams down. Wow. I'll finger mullet. <laughs> Bag gone. Oh, yeah. Just an old, little old dead finger mullet. Come on. This does not feel like Mr. Red Snapper. And I hope I don't catch your line there, Big John. Or my other line. <sighs> I love it when they come way up off the bottom so they can't run back to the bottom get themselves buried we are together. together it is a red snapper there you go and it did come up off the bottom just for an old it's a yep it's gonna be the day of the red snapper I think caught this side of the lip caught in the side of the lip the lip the lip wow if I was a commercial fisherman, I'd have some money right about now. Ah. Thank you, Lord. That was fun. Oh, John thinks he's got a gigantic porgy. World record. Well, it did kind of shake there a couple times. Yeah. Well, and I had something out on the back line. So far, everything that we've caught that's a bigger fish has been red. And I think that was looking awful red. Whoa! Okay, okay. All right. This is a whole grunt right next to the bottom. So this might be not. Nice red. Keep him out of the structure down there. Ah. Or it could be, you know, it could be a, a, a grouper or a great big red snapper. But it could be, see? That's what we don't know. It's something special. This is our first day out deep sea fishing. Yeah, we are on the fish. The boat, the answer prayer, put us on fish today. Put us on fish today. Looks awful red. I see something else swimming close to it. Yeah, I see it. But that's a red snapper. There's something else bigger below it. Look at that side of that red snapper there. That's a big boy. Hola, that's a whopper. That's a whopper. A whopper of a snapper. Hmm. Well, well, I can't find my D hooker real quicker. There you go. And there he goes. Wow, a little porgy ish. Maybe a red porgy, but. <laughs> trigger fish. John's got a trigger fish. I don't think it's a big enough trigger fish. It's not nice to say. Well, I always tell the truth. Is that yours or mine? I guess that's mine. That uh, he's close. Looks like the same one I caught. What is this deal? Is that your one? Could be. It could be. Probably is. Big John this is the next one to hook up. I'm getting trigger trigger bites or something down here on this whole grunt because they're just nibbling away at it. What you got there, Big John? I see it. I think it's our nemesis. But if not, that could be a big trigger. But it's a great big, not trigger. Red snapper. <laughs> You're a faker. I ain't no faker. I ain't no faker. Uh, 
If this is a trig, it might be a keeper trig. I want it to be. I want it for you. Honey. Of course, it's looking a little bit snapperish to me. Yeah. On a shrimp. Red snapper. I was hoping for a trigger, but it's a pretty red snapper, just a little guy. Gonna let him go, gonna let him go. John gets this fish in, hopefully we can put it in the cooler so we can get the skunk out of the boat. But, we're gonna move. I like your style. We've got, uh, what is that? Oh, that's a <gasps> red snapper. Just another red snapper. Anyway, we're going to move to another area. Maybe we can catch something and put it in the cooler. Hey. This almost feels like a porgy. Had a porgy shake for a second. Oh, yeah. Come on now. Let's get the skunk out of the boat. Yeah, come on. Be a porgy. I love porgy. One of my top five favorites. But it is not a porgy. <laughs> oh, dang on it! It's a red one, red porgy. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Oh man! Dang on it! Felt like a porgy. Looked like a red snapper. Is a red snapper, folks. I thought that was just going to be a red snapper. That's why I didn't record it. Nice mangrove. Thank you, Lord. Skunk is out of the back of the boat. Come on, John. This is on a little frozen sardine or er, finger mullet. Goodness. It's a big boy, whatever it is. Uh, real big. <laughs> Dog gone. He's coming up underneath the boat trying to tangle us all up, John. Almost think that's a shark. Yeah, it feels like a shark. Yeah, get some, anything up. That'd be great. One last thing. This feels just like a shark. Shark yeah, but this is way bigger than a shark sucker. Yeah, just a great big red snapper. Followed by another fish down deeper. A little bitty, little bitty finger mullet. Put them in the side of the lip. So many red snappers, just unreal. Okay, I'll get it, John. No, oh. got nothing, nothing, honey. Just had a ruby on for bait. Oh, okay. It is shrimp. I drop it right down in the pipes. We are at reef number eleven. He looks like Mr. Red Snapper. Typical, typical, typical Red Snapper. Oh, we are really good, aren't we? Hmm. We're good with Red Snapper. They got our name. These, these red, red Snappers that are so restricted. Golly, yeah, we ought to send some to the, the federal SAFMC. South Atlantic Fisheries Management Council. Because, you know... There's hardly any red snapper out here. Let them know where there's, so they can find some. Greater than a grunt. <laughs> Let's see what Big John's got. Oh, he got one too. I told you it was greater than a grunt. Greater than a grunt. Greater than a grunt. Greater than a grunt. All right, frozen sardine. Uh, great big circle. Look. <laughs> I already know what this big monster is. I've already been wrestling with him for a minute or two. 
they're everywhere out here, folks. Look at that. Big boy. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous what? Oh, I saw my reflection. <laughs> no, I didn't. Ain't game like that. Oh, I'll get you off of here, fella. There you go. Goodbye. So long. Farewell. Woo! Love it. Thank you, Lord. Got shrimp. Shrimp. And it's not a uh, grunt. Could be a little red snapper or a mangrove. Come on. Little red snapper. Just a little guy. Uh. Oh, Big John is hooking up. I think he got a big snapper. Uh, we got some big snapper here, folks. Oh, look at the size of that mangrove. John. Woo. Yep, getting in that, getting in that big guy. Wow. Look at the size of that mangrove. There you go, big guy. <laughs> Don't do it like Whoa. That, that makes mine that. look puny. That might be my biggest mangrove. Thank Woo. you. Woo. Thank you, Lord. Wow. I never remember making it. On a hunk of grunt? All right. Thank you, Lord. That was great. <laughs> Almost 20. 19 and a half? Uh, 18. Not quite. 19. 19 and a half. Well, if you, yeah. Total length is, is 19 and a half. That's a big one. That's a big one. Wowzer. Way to go, Big John. They're down there. Well, Big John's not giving me any rest. Oh, Almaco Jack. We're hot now. Nice Almaco. Woo! Jumping Almaco. You are hot now. This is on a piece of cut mullet. Down in the pipes. Oh, just another red snapper. John catches the mangroves. I catch a red snapper. Oh, he's my hero. And if I can get him out of the pipe. Just about, just about. <laughs> Get him, Lane. Get him up. Oh, uh, got him. <laughs> got him out. And if there's a mangrove, it's going to be worth it. Big mangrove. No, not a huge one. Not like yours, if it is. And it is a mangrove. Nice one. Thank you, Lord. Heading with the net. Oh, oh yeah. Too fast for me. That's a nice mangrove, folks. Not as big as John's. This is too big. <laughs> yeah. Might be bigger. Oh no, that's good. I like it this way. I felt it. He was in the pipes. Y'all saw that, didn't you? He was in the pipes. Let me get him off of here. Well, he didn't want to get off of that circle hook. Well, that was on a hunk of grunt tail actually 18 18 and a half tail pinched thank you lord nice big mangrove right in the pipes mangrove tail i mean i used a grunt tail there we go Come on, come on, come on up here. There we go. We got him past the halfway mark. Okay. Oh, I think he's got me. 
past the halfway mark. This was on a whole grunt. I hope this is a, a grouper. That'd be great. Oh my gosh. Uh, we are together, uh, but no longer. We're friends at the tank. Come on. Uh oh. He managed to get down a hole. I thought you had it off the bottom. I did. You stay He's still on there. Well, we'll just have to wait until he maybe gets off. All right, got him out, whatever it is. I see some color down there. Looks like a big red snapper to me. Just a big red snapper. Huge, though. Ate a whole blasted grunt. Hey, big red snapper. See it myself. I didn't want to believe you, see? I was for you, I didn't want to believe you. If you John, if you're for me, who could be against me? That is a big one. Yep. Eat the size of that grunt. Holy moly. I'll let you go and you can go back to your pipe. <laughs> ah. And there he goes. Boy, he coughed up all kinds of nasty stuff. <laughs> Woo! That was the biggest. That was the biggest of the day. For sure. Yeah. And he lives to catch him next year, maybe. Okay. Big John might have another Grover. Probably a grunt. Oh, you think a grunt? Grunt verse? Oh, yeah, two grunt verse. Two grunt verse. Sure did. Dag on him. It's on that grunt tail. Go! Oh. I think he broke me off. Sure did. I didn't think I was that far that close to the uh, pipes. But apparently I was wrong. No. <sighs> mm. <laughs> you something? I think I got your fish that you just lost. <sighs> oh. That was a big one on a medium action ugly. Well, it's about one o'clock, folks. Big John and I have had a good day. Let me turn this on. There we go. All right, let's do that again. Been a good day. Big, yeah. I mean, this is this is like you'd see in a, in a commercial. It's hard to believe, but here it is. Beautiful out here. We're heading back home, and if I would go the right direction, that'd help. Over there, by the clouds. Look at this, glass, love it. All right, kiddos, onward. Oh, I see the, uh, I see the building. 